All right, so we're going to make um, Cigar Box Guitar today. I'm not going to do the whole thing in front of you. I'm going to give you a really quick tutorial so you can get first going. First things first, you're going to make a measurement six inches down from the top and make a line. I already did that on here so you can see it. Okay, and that's where you're going to cut your head out. So I just measured an in, uh, eighth of an inch down. You can always take more off, with, you know, so you just make your mark right here. Put this in a in a in a vise or a um, you know some kind of a clamp and just saw it straight down so you get that chunk out of there. You could probably um, you could probably hook this up to a uh, power saw you know a, a table saw and do the same thing somehow, but I didn't. I just saw it down. All right. Once you get that notched out, what I do is I take another piece of quarter inch poplar and I glue it to the back. The reason I do this is because most commercial tuning pegs are going to be too long for this particular dimension. So if you add this on the end of it, or on the back of it, um, the the post won't stick out too far. Um, if it sticks out too far, um, I'll show you on this one. If it sticks out too far. The problem is you you run the risk of of not getting the string to break and seat down on that nut. Okay, um, and, you'll, and even then you're going to have to string it all the way down to the bottom just to get that tension. If you string it straight across, this is going to bounce off your, off your nut, so, okay. With the box itself, once you get that cut out, you're going to take your box, you'll open it up. I like my lid facing down. I left these free just to show you. Okay. If you flip your box over, you can measure the depth of your cut with a marking knife. Just measure the so you know you're not gonna that's the bottom of your cut. Okay, and then you just simply have to find your center. Once you find your center, you're gonna go three quarters of an inch on either side, make your mark, cut that out with a saw. Once you cut cut down with your saw, I just use a razor to cut the bottom and peel it off. I didn't cut out the back of this one because this is not going to have a tail on it. This is going to be just to here and that's it. All right? Um, and we're going to use something different for the strength. Now you're going to want to take a piece of, uh, this is just a piece of quarter inch. It just matches that notch so that this fits inside. It just gives it a little extra support. You'll make a, another one exactly like it, notch it out, so that when that one goes on the back, okay, again, you're not notching this out, this will sit right on top. All right, the other, now, now the only problem is I can't close my box. So on the other guitar, I will show you how to close the box. Close the box by notching this out. Just a series of saw cuts, chisel it out, and then you can use a rasp. Um, you can see it's not real fine work, but it's just it's under the box, it's under the lid. So now I can close my lid all the way down on top, and this will get glued up. If I had an amp, um, I would just put screws in the corners with corner posts. But the, again, we're not going to go into that. It just just all gets glued together. Shape up your tailpiece, round it out, put your three holes in it for your strings. This is your bridge. Okay, my recommendation is to position the bridge once the strings are on it. Um, this will also lead me to this other really important step, and it's a measurement. I don't mean to bore you, but you've got to do some math here. <clears throat> once you get your six inches and you make your mark, you're going to measure another. 24 and a half inches down, okay, in this case, it, you don't see it anymore, okay. 24 and a half inches down, you'll do this before you notch it out, that's the position of your bridge, alright, so, I'll show you on this one, there's the position of my bridge, you can see it right there, that's 24 and a half inches, now, how I determine, right, where this goes on the box, okay, let's, so my 24 and a half inches off. 
like I said, normally I notch this out after I get my bridge position, but so I'll just rough this out for you so you can make sense of it. So here's my 24 and a half inches right here. So that's my bridge. Now where does the bridge go on the box? Easy. One third of the distance up. All right. So if it's a five and a half inch box, it'll be two and a half inches. Uh, and in this case, I'm pretty sure that's about where it is, two and a half inches. So this bridge goes two and a half inches up from here. Okay, a third of the distance up. That's how I know where to notch this out, where to notch this out, and how much tailpiece is left. It's usually about three inches. So there you go. Now, when you put your bridge on, you measure down 24 and a half inches from here. And there, I'm already there, 24 and a half inches. You'll also notice on your, you know, your, your, um, your lines here are going to be a little bit of an, on a diagonal, your threads. So you're going to want to position that so that your string will go through straight. So you're going to notice that your bridge is a little bit, um, you know, cocked a little bit like that. The reason, um, and again, this is one of the things that David Sutton does, is you put this on here, it, it keeps this from moving, right? You can just epoxy that on. But I don't, don't do that until you get your string on and you know exactly where you want the position to be. Then you can mark it, take your, loosen up your string, and then epoxy it. I think it's a much better way of doing it. And, um, now, for the um, string nut at the top here, you could just use a little epoxy and put that on here like that. Um, I also take a round file and I round this out so it seats nice and easy. All right. You're going to want to shape this to whatever you like. You'll notice I have three lines. The center line is the center string because it's a three string guitar. Center line, then you go three eighths on each side, that's about right. The way I do that is I just make a mark up here in the center, which would be three quarters, and then three eighths on this side, three eighths on this side. I do the same exact thing down here. Once I get it down here, I can take a straight edge, just take a yardstick or something. And if you follow that line up, you can make your mark here, here, and here. Um, that's kind of how you know where your string wants to go. Because we're using um, a nut and not like a bone where you're cutting out the notch um, for your string, it's kind of tell you're going to want to put your holes almost in line um, with this so that when you, when you string it, you don't have to worry about the string going at an angle. If it, if it does, if you do need to change the direction of the string, um, you can always use a nut. And I'll just give you an example. On this one here, I've used bone here. So it's, once it goes through the bone, I could string it over here. It would, it would follow, it's, it's no problem. But when it's a nut like this, it's kind of tough to get it to go where you want it to go um, without slipping off that nut. So if that were the case, you could just put a screw in, and this is not a screw, but you could just put a screw in here to give it the direct, you know, and then you could break it off of the screw, all right? So you can just break it in any direction you wanted. Um, I try to avoid that as much as possible by placing my hole, like my first hole here, my second hole would be about here. And then just remember when you string it, it's gonna be on the, you know, you wouldn't center the hole, it would be a little bit off center so that when you string it, the string is on the line. And then what you can do is just shape this out. Once you get your holes in, you can shape this out so that your tuning peg would be here. You know, you can just give a little shape to your, um, to the top. So, um, I'm just thinking out loud here if there's anything else I need to show you. Because believe it or not, that's all there is. I mean, you just get your tuning pegs, follow the instructions on them. They're really simple. Um, I might even have some. You can get them from CB Giddy. I don't have any open for you guys, but this is um, this is an example of a classic style in line. Okay, and I put that on here. You could do that. This is just a little more complex. Anyway, um, I think that's it. The only other thing I'll show you is the uh, the strings themselves to get you started. This one. I used the lower string.
it's tuned to um, E, it's open E, uh, again with frets. You can play it, you know, you can pick it, uh, or you can play it with a slide. The kind you're going to make is going to be tough to do that. You're going to play it with a slide, pretty much primarily. And I don't know if I have a slide. Um, yeah, I'll use a piece of bamboo. How's that? So, I have no idea how this will sound, but you can... All right, so that's a slide. Um, that's what I forgot to tell you. Um, since this one is not going all the way through, so you can't attach your strings back here, you've got to come up with a way to do it. I just took a piece of brass. Just take a piece of brass, you screw it on the back, put your three holes in it, and you can string it up from here. I did that on this one. I just fabricated this with files. I mean, it doesn't really take a whole lot of, you don't really need any power tools. Just cut it, bend it, and you can string it that way. So, you can use a hinge, you know, like a cabinet hinge. You can use all kinds of stuff. It's a cigar box guitar. All right, have fun. If any of you guys can play better than I can, and you can make one, send me the video. I'll post it. All right, let me get finished with um, these. Since this one is not going all the way through, so you can't attach your strings back here, you've got to come up with a way to do it. I just took a piece of brass. Just take a piece of brass, you screw it on the back, put your three holes in it, and you can string it up from here. I did that on this one. I just fabricated this with files. I mean, it doesn't really take a whole lot of, you don't really need any power tools. Just cut it, bend it, and you can string it that way. So. You can use a hinge, you know, like a cabinet hinge. You can use all kinds of stuff. It's a cigar box guitar. All right, have fun. If any of you guys can play better than I can, and you can make one, send me the video. I'll post it. All right, let me get finished with these.